Hi guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make the ghost um, car hangers um, that I've posted on my page a couple times. And what we're going to need is we're going to need, um, I use a cotton blend, but you can use any weight for yarn. Um, this is the Lion brand and it glows in the dark and this is just Lily Sugar Cream, Sugar and Cream. And then I also have a pair of scissors. These are my mom's kitchen scissors, but don't tell her. Um... <laughs> I have a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. Um, I have a stitch marker just to help me keep my place, but you can skip this if you don't need one, but I do, but I do. Um, and then I have a four millimeter hook. So I find that this gives me the least amount of holes in my work. So I go with the 4.5 instead of the five, which is recommended. Um, so. Um, so we're going to take our black yarn, or green, or literally whatever color you want, and we're going to create a slip knot. And to create a slip knot, well, we're actually going to leave a little bit of a tail so that we could tie it in later. But to create a slip knot, what we're going to do is, how I do it is, I twist it kind of like this, and then I grab the side that we're not using any longer, not the working yarn side, and then there we go, slip knot. So then I'm just gonna put my hook right through here and we're gonna yarn over. So you're gonna have your hook go horizontally and then back up to the ceiling. And then you're gonna twist it almost again horizontally. So we're gonna do that again, horizontally, up to the ceiling, twist horizontally and pull. So that's one chain. So we're gonna do this 74 more times. So let's get into it. are at 75 now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it and again leave a bit of a decent amount so that we can tie it in later and then I'm just gonna pull through with that loop on my hook and secure it and there we go we have the 75 um 75 chain chain <laughs> so this will be used to connect both of the ghosts and we'll use these ends to help connect us the ghost too so what we're going to do next is we are going to do the leaf and this one can get a little bit tricky but we will go through it together so we're going to do another slip knot so hold it with your pointer finger and your thumb twist it put your pointer finger and thumb in hold it out wide grab that yarn that we're not using any longer and pull okay so for this we're going to make 16 chains so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen okay so we have 16 chains here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into that second chain from hook i know it's a little bit hard to see since it's black but we're gonna go into that second chain from hook and we're going to single crochet. And then after we single crochet, we're gonna half double crochet. Um, I guess I should explain the single crochet. So to single crochet, you go into that chain, you yarn over just like we did with the chain, and then we just yarn over again. And then a half double crochet, you yarn over before going into the stitch, you yarn over in the stitch, and then you pull through all three of those loops. So next we're going to do three double crochets. So double crochet is you yarn over before you go in. You yarn over in, you pull through two, which is a single crochet. And then you pull through another two, which makes it a double crochet. And then we're going to do that again. So yarn over into the loop, pull through two, pull through two. And one last time. And then what we're going to do next is we are going to 
half double crochet so you yarn over go into the to the loop you pull through all three and then single crochet no yarning over just go into the hoop and then pull through all three then we're going to chain one and we're going to skip this next stitch right here and then we're going to go and then single crochet one into the second stitch so the one that we missed and then one right after we're going to single crochet we're going to half double crochet and then we're going to do three double crochets Crocheting with a band-aid on is the hardest thing in the world. Okay, so that's three. So next we're going to go, and we're going to do another half double crochet. And then a single crochet on this end. And then what we're going to do is we're going to repeat it on the other side. So we're going to use these loops that were unworked. And we're going to just do the same thing over and over again. So we're going to go into this little loop. We are going to single crochet. Then half double crochet, and then three double crochets, and then we're going to half double crochet again. And then we are going to single crochet and we will meet up to that point where we have our chain one and um, skip. So we're going to chain one again and we're going to skip that stitch. So we're going to go into the next one after that on top of our old single crochet, we're gonna single crochet again. And then we will half double crochet. Next we will be doing a series of the three um, double crochets on top of our old three double crochets. Oops. And then in our last two stitches, we will do, do a half double and a single. So this last stitch is gonna be right here. And we're gonna, it's gonna take a little bit to get into it, but you can do it. And then we are just going to single crochet. And then what I like to do is I like to just slip stitch into here. And then I like to tie off. Well, fasten off. There we go. So this is our leaf and um, chain. So in these chain one spots, I'm going to take the the tails of the unworked yarn at the end i'm going to pull through on one side each so on the other side we're going to pull through with the other tail that is my cat oops and then we will have this little loop right here to help hang our hangers but of course we're not done because we still have to do the little ghosts. So to do our little ghosts, we are going to need white or whatever color you prefer. And I'm going to teach you a method on how to not do the magic circle. Um, I found it out like the other day. And it's made um, anything with chenille yarn so much easier. And so I don't have to break the yarn when I pull the magic circle. So what we're going to do is we're going to slip knot and then chain two. And we're going to go back into the first chain. And we're going to single crochet six times. So these, these six stitches are going to be... This is going to be a mag our magic circle. And then the six stitches will be the stitches on the magic circle. So we are one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, if it leaves a little gap, you could just pull on this this little yarn tail and it will close it up. So, next we are going to increase around. So that means that we are just going to put two stitches into the same stitch. Any increase means two stitches into the same stitch. So, I go one, and then I usually put my stitch marker here. 
just to denote the beginning of a round. And then I do a second into that same first stitch, and that will give us two. So this is number three and four and five and six and seven if i could get it yep seven and eight nine and ten and then eleven and twelve now it's okay if your circle opens a little bit because we're going to be using that circle anyways. This little one right here, we're going to be using it at the end. So next we are going to do a single crochet increase around. So what we're going to do in this first stitch, we're going to single crochet, put our stitch marker right back in there, and then we are going to increase. So let's see. One two so you put two in the same stitch so now you should have three in the matter of two stitches you should have three stitches in the matter of two so we're gonna do that again single crochet and then put two stitches in one two so we're gonna do that again all the way around one increase increase one increase increase one <laughs> increase sorry that's my cat increase we're gonna do another one and then increase you will know if you're doing it right based on two things did you end with an increase? Yes or no. If you did, then you can count. You can count and see how many stitches you have. You should have 18. But if you did not end on an increase and you ended on a single crochet, you did something wrong. You need to go back and you need to frog it and figure it out. Frogging means to rip it out because rip it, rip it, rip it. Um, and this, it, it doesn't harm anything. Um, it just gives you a new way to start over. So now we are going to single crochet 18 stitches, which is one round for four rounds. And I will meet you back once you have those four rounds done. Okay, at this point you should have seven rounds and we can count them at the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So next round will be a decrease row. So what we're going to do is we're going to put one single crochet and then we are going to decrease. So we are going to invisible decrease on this, but if you can invisible decrease, it's the same thing, but just going through two loops. So an invisible t a decrease is going through one and we're going through the front loop only. And then we are going to yarn over in the second one. We will have three loops and then pull through those three. And then we will be going to the second, and then we will be continuing crocheting, and then doing the same thing in the front loops again. Now again, if you can, if you are having trouble with this, and you can't invisible decrease, that is perfectly fine. Just um, decrease through both loops, and I will show you what that looks like. So you're going to go one, two, three. So I'm just going to take that out just so that I can invisible decrease so that it looks the same around. Oops. There we go. And then single crochet. And then decrease. And single crochet. And decrease. Remember, we're going to want to end on a decrease. Single crochet. And decrease. And after this, we should have 12 stitches. So. If you have more than 12 stitches, you need to frog it and redo it. Next, we are going to do the um, ghost bottom, I guess. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna half double crochet into the first stitch, and then we are going to double crochet into that same stitch 
and half double crochet back into that same stitch. Whoops. So, um, it depends. Sometimes you don't need a stitch marker, but I will put one on here just in case so that we can see. So in the next stitch, we are going to slip stitch, which is going through the, the loop and then yarning over and pulling through. You're not going to do any more pull throughs or anything. So half double crochet and then double crochet, half double crochet. And then we are going to go into that next stitch and single crochet, I mean, slip stitch and half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet half double crochet, slip stitch, and it will start to look like this. So we're going to do that again, half double crochet, double crochet, half double crochet, slip stitch, half double crochet, double crochet, half double slip stitch and then you'll be left with two so we're gonna half double crochet double crochet oops half double sorry my yarn is pulling and then slip stitch and then for extra measure, I like to slip stitch in that first stitch we made as well. And then we're going to leave a little bit of a tail so that we can weave in that end. And then we're going to grab our safety eyes. Um, it really doesn't matter what like size you use because I have a bunch of different sizes and they didn't come labeled so I have no clue what is what. Um, but I take any that look small enough and big enough at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, I got this off of Amazon. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take these ones. Whoopsies. I'll get that later. So I'm gonna take these two. And then I am going to put the eyes in the one, two, three, four, five, six... I'm going to put it between the 6th and 7th row, about 5 stitches apart. So, oh, look at this hair. Sorry about that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Actually, maybe 4. Yeah, 4 is cuter. Here we go. And then we're just going to take our safety eye backing. And I do not have a lighter on me right now. But if I did, I would burn these ends um, and then tap them with the lighter so that it doesn't move. Um, just, just so that, you know, they stay in place. Um, because they can come out. Um, it, it really, it's tough to get them on, but still they can come out. So here is what our first ghost looks like. So now we must go back and do this all over again to make a second ghost. Okay, so what we're gonna do next, now that we have both of our little ghosty boys, we are going to take our chain and our tails. So what I like to do is I like to push my, my, my hook through and then grab onto this tail, whoops. Sometimes just a little tricky. Grab onto the tail and then pull all the way through. So then what I want to do is I want to make a knot as close to the end um, of the chains as possible. Um, I'm gonna make a top I'm gonna make a couple because I really want to secure this. And it doesn't have to look too too pretty because it's just gonna it's gonna be hidden. It's just gonna secure everything in place so that our little ghosty guys don't fall off of our of our stem kind of I guess <laughs> um, and then once we have those all secure we're going to pull this back and you'll see that it won't fall off 
And you don't really have to weave in this end because, I mean, it's just, it's just a knot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and then cut that right off. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So we are going to, again, put our hook through this little, the little magic circle that we made, or the faux magic circle we made. And we, we are going to grab this yarn somebody's yelling outside i'm sorry about that we are going to grab this yarn and do the same thing on the other side so now we are going to pull make a couple knots at the end um you could do it even like on the actual string itself but i prefer to do it right onto the end of our chain so that you know, it's a little bit more secure in that way. Um, some of mine go on the little end, but then the more I do it, the more they start to sit right on the end. So this is gonna be my last one. So I got that all secure. And I'm gonna take this. I'm going to pull this back out. We got both of them on there now. So I'm gonna weave in my ends and then I will come back to you guys. Now that we are all done, our ends are weaved in and everything, this flower, I mean this leaf can move up, could move down. Now I'm a little bit extra, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a little bit of this blush. And I'm just going to put it right on that cheek. And this is just going to give it a cutesy little look. I went a bit heavy handed, but that is okay because this one is just for my personal collection. So we're just going to give it this cute little blushy look. Um, And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We're just gonna tap it in here. And this is just old blush. It's not blush I can use any longer. So I am using it on my crochet pieces because we all love a bit of blush. So here we have it. These are our little ghosty guys and they are so cute and thank you guys for joining and I would love to see your creations. Thank you so much.